In this video, we take a look at the new Hello screensaver for Mac OS 11.3. Of course, this screensaver accompanies the release of the new iMac, which has those seven brilliant colors. And these screensavers do a great job of complementing the look of the iMac. Check it out. Okay, so this new Hello screensaver was obviously produced with the new iMac in mind and of course pays homage to the original Macintosh and the first generation iMac. But with that being said, it will run on other devices like the MacBook Pro, the M1 flavor that is, as long as you're running 11.3. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to system library and then you want to go to screensavers. And then in screen savers, you'll see a new hello.saver. Now, if you try to double click on the screen saver to install it into system preferences, desktop and screen saver slash screen saver, it's not going to show up there. So what you're gonna to need to do is actually copy this screen saver to your desktop, rename it, and then install it. So that's what I'm gonna show you uh, I'm going to do right now. So just going to copy, paste that item onto the desktop. There we go. And then I'm going to rename it. So we'll do that now. And I'll just actually, cause I'm trying to do this without actually touching the keyboard. So I'll just do that real quick. Just copy a letter here or a couple of letters and then just paste it in here. Bear with me. Okay, so there we go. All right, so it doesn't really matter what you rename it, just as long as it isn't hello. Then double click on it, click install, and then verify using your password. In this case, I'm just gonna use Touch ID. All right, so there we go. So now you can see the hello screensaver is installed. So I just click on it, and now I get a nice preview of what it looks like. Just like that, super simple, super easy. So now you can just click the preview button on the screensaver to get a full screen preview of it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And what do you guys think? I think that looks pretty slick. Nice tribute to the original Macintosh and of course the original iMac as well. It's beautiful colors. All right, so you have a lot of screensaver options. This is the really cool thing about this. So you have three main options, theme, show hello in all languages and match system appearance. So we'll step through each of these different options and show you what those do here in a second. But first of all, just have another look at the hello screensaver uh, with its default settings. So you see the white text there the color background and those backgrounds really pop the contrast between the white text and that background really makes these screensavers pop and you see the different languages i believe that is croatian if i'm not mistaken you guys let me know down below in the comment section if my languages are right there so if i uncheck show hello in all languages then it will only show the word hello it will not show any other language at all so if you, if you just want to keep it simple, you don't want any other languages there. You just want English. Hello. Uncheck that option and that'll do it. Kind of boring, but it'll do it. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our options. All right, so match system appearance. So what that does, if I uncheck it, click OK, watch what happens. You get a dark version. So basically match system appearance basically allows you to match whether or not you're in dark mode or light mode. So if you're in light mode and you have that enabled, it will always show light wallpapers. If you're in dark mode, it will always show dark wallpapers. If you uncheck it, you could get a mix of the two. So that's why we're getting the mix here now because I unchecked it.
All right, so let's go back to our settings. Enable match system appearance. And now we're going to go back into the general section of system preferences and enable dark mode. So now all the screensavers that it shows should be of the dark variety now. And you can see the previews even updated. So there we go. Pretty much exactly what we expected there. All right, so let's go back in. This time we're going to adjust the theme. So thus far we've been on the spectrum theme, the default theme. And again, the spectrum theme is the one that provides the most contrast and light mode because you get the white text on the nice colored backgrounds. But this time I'm gonna choose minimal and show you what that looks like. So minimal is basically a monochromatic hello screensaver. And that's all you get. So you don't get any color at all with minimal. I think this will look really good on that silver iMac and it also looks very good on my Space Gray MacBook Pro. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, so now let's switch themes and switch over from minimal to soft tones. And soft tones differs from spectrum because there's less contrast. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. But first, let's go back to general and disable dark mode, go back to light mode. There we go. And go back to desk, oops, wrong one. Desktop and screensaver. All right. So we'll go to our screensaver options. We have soft tones enabled. So let me show you what that's like. So you notice you don't have the white text which provides that high contrast between the background. You have a text color that complements the background color. So it provides almost like a pastel look, which again, will look really good on those new colors for the iMac. And I think it even looks good on my MacBook Pro. All right. So one other thing that you'll notice here under themes is that you have an all option, and this will basically mix and match all the various screensaver themes uh, to provide you with the most variety. So that's really cool. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, I am running this on a M1 MacBook Pro running macOS 11.3 RC, which is the, hopefully it will be the final version of macOS 11.3. Of course, Apple could issue a new update and you see those Japanese characters there. So give it some nice variety, but of course, Apple could update the RC to another version. But again, chances are this is the version that will ship once Mac OS 11.3 is released to the public. So what do you guys think about the Hello Screensaver? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section with your thoughts and opinions. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What's your favorite configuration? And tell me which iMac color do you like the best as well? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We'll be back with tons more Mac coverage so do the right thing and hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button right now. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.